Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. I just wanted everybody to know if you're going to purchase one of our outdoor sump pump systems, if you're going to do a DIY project, or if you're a contractor who's just trying to learn as much about this as he possibly can, value this sump pump video. I consider this probably one of the most important sump pump videos I've done from the simple fact that it's so difficult to come back from if you don't do this part right in the first place. So don't jump around because the comparisons are great and the video kind of builds on itself and you're really cheating yourself if you skip around. Enjoy everybody. So we're going to show you why it's important to always buy your sump pump system depending on how deep your trench is. That's how you dictate how tall your outdoor sump pump system needs to be. So we have our mock French sum up inside the sump pit 10 and a half inches plus you got whatever you have for a housing that this is sitting on. So let's just say 12 inches. We need 12 inches of water to turn this on. That's the problem guys. If your trench is say 18 inches deep or 24 inches deep and you only go down 24 inches what's going to happen? Your sump pump the water is going to rise. It's going to feed up into the French drain, your sump pump's not going to turn on until it's absolutely flooded. Then once it's flooded, it will run. But what if the sump pump float comes up, the rain event quits, and it never turns on. This happens all the time. So your trench is full of water. Trees and shrubs sniff that out. The roots find it. They fill your French drain system, and they take it out. So you want to go 12 inches deeper than your deepest trench to your sump pump system. That's the one of the hardest things to teach, and I'm, I'm hoping this demonstration helps people out. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna dig this out a little more, and we're gonna put a deeper unit in, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, let's stay to the end. We did a great demonstration. The guys put together such a good demonstration for you. You're gonna to wanna to stay to the end because we're gonna cover this in detail. It's one of the hardest things for us to teach, and seeing, you know, if a picture's worth a thousand words, what's a video clip worth? Plus, we're going to use two different size chambers. We're going to put in a shallow chamber, and we're going to show you water back feeding. I'll give you a little bit of a, you know, play-by-play -play on the ground. And then we're going to dig out the sump pit to a deeper depth, and we're going to put in a much taller outdoor sump pump system. And we're going to show you guys the difference and how there's no chance at all that you're going to have any backfeed into your French drain, yard drain, roof runoff system, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're dewatering, you don't want the water to backfeed up into that system. Because if it backfeeds up into the system and the water doesn't get pumped down, tree and shrub roots can find their way into that because trees and shrubs are going to be able to smell that out during the drought season and they'll just take out your drainage system. So let's get you on the ground here with the crew, walk you through the demonstration, stay to the end. I think the guys did a really good job. We got this pump plugged in. So here's what's going on. Water is backfeeding up into the French drain system. Do you see it? The water is in the French drain trench. What does that do? That's going to turn your entire yard drain into a reservoir, and the trees and shrubs are going to smell that, and their roots are going to fill it. What could have prevented this? All right, a sump pump system, the float goes up and up and up and up, and it has to go all the way to the top before it turns on. So by the time you put this in a housing, so it's sitting on the floor of a housing, and then you got the throw of this, you know, half horse. You know, we usually use a half horse outdoors. And for this full frame demonstration, we're using an M98. So there's 10 and a half inches just from when this float turns off to when this float comes up and turns on. That's 10 and a half inches. Plus, you got a couple inches that the sump pump, you got to remember it's sitting on a housing inside a sump pit. So Basically, what I'm trying to say is you need to make your sump pit 12 inches, a full 12 inches deeper than your trench, okay? So if the trench is 12 inches, then you can do a 24. If a trench is 
say 16 inches, you need to go up in size. You have to do a 30 inch. So let's continue to do this demonstration. Remember, there's a reason why we have so many sizes. We have several sizes. We have a 24 inch, we have a 30 inch, we have a 36 inch, we have a 40 inch, and we even have a 49 inch outdoor sump pump system. All right, so we have a French drain trench here in our demonstration. It's got 1% slope. We're flooding this. Uh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. But meanwhile, what do we do? Look at, we're back feeding. We got 1% slope. You can see there's ripples, good flow in our system. You know, we're, we're flooding it. There we go. It just, it just turned on. It just turned on. Now, to my point, if the rain event stops and you have your float up to the high position, what do we end up with? This back feeds. This back feeds and holds water is the problem. How do we prevent this? We go down one full foot deeper than our deepest trench. This is one of the hardest things to explain. Okay, so this right here has 10 and a half inches of throw, guys. Think about that. All right, so we're digging this sump pit deeper so that we can put in a deeper housing. I want to show you guys the difference and why I encourage you to always go deeper when in doubt. You want your sump pump system to be a full 12 inches deeper than the lowest trench, the lowest portion of your trench. Now remember, if you're running a roof runoff system to your outdoor sump pump system, you got to measure the bottom of that four inch pipe, not the top of it. A lot of people make that mistake. Do not measure the top of these pipes, your trench and measure the trench bottom. That's what you take your measurement from. And then you want your sump pump system to be a full 12 inches deeper. So if you need to go 30 inches, you need a 30 inch sump pump system. If you need to go 36 inches, then you buy a 36 inch tall outdoor sump pump system. I encourage this. When in doubt, always go deeper. You can't mess it up. If you go deeper, you can't mess it up. Can you go too shallow and get yourself in trouble? Absolutely. What happens when you go too shallow? When you go too shallow, you're back feeding water into your whole drainage system. If you're in the north, that's gonna freeze up on you. If you're in the south, well, during the drought season, the trees and shrubs are gonna fill your French drain system, yard drain system, whatever that is that's holding water, the roots are gonna fill. All right, we're getting pretty deep here. This is pretty cool. I got a 36 inch outdoor sump pump system housing that we're gonna drop in. If you're still with us, congratulations for getting the true benefit of this video. This is a great demonstration. Now you've seen a demonstration with a shorter housing. What we did is we went ahead and dug a deeper hole. We're a foot deeper. So we started out at 24 inches. We had a 24 inch chamber and we were going to show you guys. All right, here's an outdoor sump pump pit chamber housing. Let's show you what the difference is between that and the 30. But I wanted it to be a little exaggerated. So I told the guys, you know what? Let's use a 36. Even though the fix would have been to go from the 24 to the 30, that would have been the fix. In this particular case, in this demonstration of said French drain trench on 1% slope, look at this. So I said, let's go 36 inches. Let's go a foot deeper. That way you guys can really see just how a little bit deeper makes such a big difference. So here we have you know, our standard size trench, our French drain trench. And usually to get 1% slope, you can start out at 10 inches deep and then work your way deeper. And we started out at 10 inches deep and then we worked our way deeper towards, you know, the sump pit. It's not a very deep trench because it's not a very long trench. If it was long and we were going across a piece of property, well, then this would be a lot deeper and you would definitely need a full 36 inch tall outdoor sump pump system. Again, in the first example, a 30 inch would have been a fix, go from the 24 inch to a 30 inch. That would have been enough. But I just wanted to do it a little bit of an exaggeration so you guys can actually see what only a foot 
deeper does for you. Now, I also realized that foot deeper, that was a lot of digging just to get a foot deeper. But the benefits speak for themselves. Look at that. It's completely underwater. So what is it doing? It's running. It's on. It's in the on position. It's running. The water doesn't have to back feed up into the French drain trench. If this was a shallower system, like in the demonstration with the 24 inch, I showed how it back fed up into the trench, okay? So look at the advantages of having a deeper sump pump pit. All the water's falling out of the French drain trench, it's falling down into the sump pump pit. This is a 36. Then your deepest trench. Again, if you're running roof runoff to your outdoor sump pump pit, measure the bottom of the trench, not the top of the pipe. People make that mistake all the time. It's a common mistake. So this is why you want to dig a little bit deeper when you do your sump pump system. Always use the fabric that we sell that's 15 feet by 15 feet for your sump pump pit. It makes your job so much easier than trying to take little pieces of fabric and pin it all around the sump pump pit. Again, we sell a 15 foot by 15 foot piece of fabric to line the sump pump pit. This is a demonstration. This isn't a job site. We did this just for you guys. All right, we're going to cut the water to the pump to the French drain. And we're going to stop the water from flooding into the French drain. And then we're going to let the pump keep running for the sump pump pit. All right, so you see the water slowing down right here. This sump pump is still pumping. It's still pumping. Why? Because... It's deeper. It's so much deeper than that trench. What would happen if this was shallow? The water would back feed up into that trench like in the demonstration with the smaller housing. Look at that. Look at that. It's pumping all the water out of the trench. Every last drop, there's nothing in the trench. Nothing at all. You got to be at least 12 inches deeper than the lowest part of your trench. Keep that in mind. This is a 36 inch screaming demon. Some pump shut off. You can see there's just a little water in the bottom. The Screaming Demon has that built-in basin in the bottom, so it pumps out your added chamber length and doesn't leave any water behind. People always want to know what the difference is between the Screaming Demon and the Bad Seed. There it is. That's the difference. All right, guys. Until the next video.